Okay. Uh, Martin Modal with Modal Musical Machines here. Uh, on this, the third to the last day of the Indiegogo campaign. There are only three more days to go. It's a fine morning out here in Southern California in the midst of our horrible drought. Uh, perhaps you on the East Coast might. I don't know, maybe we can share a little, you know. Anyway, this here is night. This, as you may know, if you've been following the campaign, you'll know that this is one of the perks of the campaign. It's uh, actually in there at the $1,000 level, um, and this is uh, one of the last days that you will be able to uh, get this little bad boy um, for that kind of a, of a price. It's only like that just because of the campaign. I just want to encourage people to you know, help us create as many more of those beautiful resonators as, as we possibly can, bring them into the world and get them out there in, in musicians' hands. This one is just a straight up rocker. It's some really uh, pretty black walnut. Used a little dye job just to kind of bring out, uh, you know, some of the some of the extra colors. If you see it in the right light, there's blacks and purples and blues and actually yellows and greens, all kinds of different colors in it. These are uh, David Plummer's hand-wound pickups. His company is Zhang Bucker. And they are seriously the clearest humbuckers I've ever heard. Um, they just have all the meat, but none of that kind of mud that you get sometimes in the neck pickup. So uh, if you're doing, you know, complicated or, you know, complex chords, things of that nature, it still comes through really clearly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, kind of interesting on the, on the tone stuff, though. Uh, I actually have a three-position tone switch. One of it is completely out of the loop, so you send everything the pickup has to your amp. One of them is a standard tone pot, and one of them is kind of like this magical tone value that sort of takes off the top but leaves that mid-range honk. And that's really cool in, in the neck. Uh, I'm sorry, in the bridge position, you know, for lead kind of things, especially if you're a rootsy, swampy, bluesy type player. Um, also, you might note, it has the uh, CA logo, which is the Carol Ann logo. That's my mom. She gave me the, uh, she gave me the music, and uh, the first several guitars I built, uh, you know, had, uh, had this as, as the logo in honor of her. Um, you know, so... And this is pretty much one of the last ones. There's only two of these left, this one and one other. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. So it's a pretty special guitar. Uh, and it's coming in at the $1,000 level. And I just, you know, whether it's 10 bucks or $1,000, I really want to encourage you guys to, to jump in at the last minute. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a calling. <laughs> you know, I love building these things. And uh, I'll continue doing it for as long as I'm able. Uh, so, and you guys have already helped us get some things going too. Uh, I have two two builds uh, going on right now that are a direct result of the support that uh, uh, 22 of you guys so far have done. And I hope a few more of you can jump in at the end. Anyway, Martin again for Modal Musical Machines. Uh, it's at indiegogo.com forward slash projects forward slash modal dash musical dash machines. Pretty much if you just Google modal musical machines, you'll find everything that we've got. And in fact, it's really cool if you go to the Google Images page and then, and then do that. Uh, you're going to see like tons and tons of pictures over the last several years of a whole bunch of guitars that, uh, that have come out of you know, this wonderful spot underneath the 400-year-old oak tree. Okay, be well, be great. Peace.